All right, YouTube, 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 YouTube. Um, I got two fragrances I want to talk about here. And it's by Creed. And I don't like doing reviews on Creed. And you guys know that I don't like doing reviews, especially on samples. I have a bunch of samples that I could do reviews on, but I just don't want to do them. But because this company is Creed, and this company does screw over a lot of people, and this company has this, this image of creating the best fragrances when they're really not creating jack shit, to me, in my opinion, anyway. I was given these two fragrances in a, in a, um, when I ordered uh, Mancera's Instant Crush. All right, I did not want these Creed fragrances. I actually wanted like Initio or some other company. But he decided to give me Creed. Big mistake. Don't give me Creed. I don't like Creed. I don't like company. Uh, I don't like their company. Now, with that being said, my review isn't going to be biased. Okay? My review isn't going to be... Isn't, it's going to be as truthful as possible. Alright? And I hate this company. I don't like Creed. I don't like Creed Aventus, though many of you do. I don't think the price is right. On the fragrance and I disagree with the price so two fragrances here that I want to talk about that I think one is way to fuck overpriced and the other is okay I guess it's, it's ranging from the 200 to less than 100 um, ooh, I left that out there Wow, I'm sorry babe um, the 200 or less category you probably could get it better from a discounter or something but it's 200 bucks and maybe a little bit over. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Royal Oud, Creed Royal Oud. Now this is a this is a masculine scent, all right? Um it's a it's a good scent. I like it. It's not it's not sweet, it's not overpowering. The opening is a little harsh with the oud. Um it's not a skanky. It's a skanky oud, but not as skanky as you would think. I believe that a lot of the men, if you ever smell the Mancera's fra uh, Mancera fragrance, um, it's not as bad as the Mancera's fragrance. And Mancera's fragrance are are pretty damn good when it comes to oud. Um, to the, to a nostril of a female who has a sensitive nose, a really good nose, she knows the smell in Mancera is just overpowering. The ouds and Mancera's are over fucking powering. This one here is a different kind of scent. Scented oud. Um, all right, let me try again. This kind of smells like the aftermath of a forest fire filled with oud. If you can understand that, it doesn't smell like burnt. Uh, it doesn't smell like burnt wood completely or wholeheartedly. It kind of smells like a little bit of burnt wood. So, but after, I would say probably after like a half an hour when it starts to settle, it becomes something nicer. All right. Here's the thing. It did not last on my skin more than three hours yesterday. I did spray this on yesterday. The scent was gone after about three hours. The projection isn't there. It does not, to me, it doesn't project hard enough. It doesn't project past six inches off of your skin. You have to bring your nose up to actually smell it. And if you're walking around, you won't smell it. Now, maybe if you if I sprayed it on my neck, but this is just a sample. I just sprayed it on my wrist, right? Um, maybe if you did spray it on your neck, you possibly could get uh, wafts of it as you're walking or whatever. But um, for two hundred dollars is a little too much for this fragrance, right? <clears throat> I would say 150 is the max that I would pay for this thing. All right. Is it a good fragrance? It is a, is it a masculine fragrance? Yes. Is it different? Yes. Is it that much different that you would pay 200 bucks for it? No. No. It, this fragrance is more for a really really mature man this is not for young people this for this is for someone who is confident enough to wear this motherfucker because this motherfucker can and will be off-putting to some people 
I don't think this would be off-putting to the mature woman, but I think it would be off-putting. Come smell this, babe, and tell me what you think about this one. Ooh, that's really feminine. That's like perfume. That's you like... really think that's feminine? Yeah. Baby, that is not feminine. That is masculine as shit. You don't smell that oud in there? No, that smells good. Are you wow. Sure that's for a guy? Baby, this is not feminine. Here, let me get you with the opening. Because I swear this thing is not feminine. Try it again. Ew. See, it's different now, right? But it settles into that smooth, what you would think feminine, but it's not feminine, right? Oh, that's really... Woodsy, right? Yeah. Like, almost like a, kind of like a burnt woodsy. Would you consider it burnt woodsy? Yeah. Kind of like, like the aftermath, right? When it settles yeah. down and the rain came and yeah. then you smelled it again. Yeah, that's not what I thought it was. But then it settled down into something crazy. See, yeah, once you get past that harsh opening, then it settles down into it's still masculine. But she thinks it's it lean fem feminine, but to me it doesn't. Once you understand the, the 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 entire fragrance, then you know. Here's the thing. For 200 bucks this does still doesn't last long. As you can tell, I sprayed this probably like 15 to 20 minutes before I started this video. No longer than a half hour. And it dried down 15, 20 minutes. That's how long it took. So then, in about in the next two to three hours, its scent will be almost diminished off of my skin. Two to three hundred dollars for a three, four hour fragrance? I don't think so. Don't do it. You'd have to re up every every two hours to get this scent to do what it's supposed to do not worth it guys not worth it now here's white flowers okay I'm gonna get her to come smell this before she leaves this is white flowers and I got it in this hand and the scent is linear magnolias this is what I'm getting off of here magnolias I'm getting magnolia white flowers on this on this hand the opening is the same as the mid and the dry down. This is a linear fragrance. Okay. Um, for a two point, I believe for a 2.5, 500 bucks. Not worth it because this does not last long at all. This doesn't pass the five hour mark on my skin. I'll be damned if I pay $500 for a fragrance that's not going to last longer than five hours on my skin. <laughs> Babe, come smell this one. I think she's coming. Baby! Okay, she's coming. I didn't know if she heard me or not. Okay, this... You said you never smelled magnolias before, right? Okay, this is a floral magnolia. Oh, wow. That smells good. I it like does smell one. good, doesn't it? I like... That's, are you... And that's cologne? Nah, this is for a woman. You want this one? Thank you. <laughs> She's building her collection off of me, guys. Anyways, this is a really good fragrance. Um, last five hours, but for a 2.5, it's like 500 bucks. I don't know. Maybe you can get it somewhere for cheaper. But when I looked online, retail was 500 bucks. I just went to one site, or I just went to Google and I saw it there on Google, 500 bucks, 500 some for a 2.5. It does smell good. Those are magnolia flowers. They smell exactly like magnolia flowers. These are the flowers that are in Louisiana all over the damn place. And they only blossom like so many years. I think they, they take like, they blossom every five years or some shit like that or every other year. or Something like that. Um, yeah, so magnolia flower. I see, probably, I see why it, it would be expensive. I'm not sure if this is exactly magnolia, but it smells just like ma white magnolia flowers. To me, that's what it smells like. Uh, maybe a little bit different, but it does smell like magnolia flowers. Um, is this fragrance worth the 500 bucks? Ooh, that's a hard judge because magnolia flowers do not blossom or bloom every year. I think they blossom or bloom every other year. 
if I'm correct. Um, so the price tag on this will probably be correct. Um, but if they if they found a way to make a synthetic um, copy of the magnolia flowers, then I say no. This wouldn't be worth. If there were if they were to find a way to synthesize the scent of magnolia, then no. But if this is a natural chemical, or a natural note in here that they actually extracted from the magnolia the white magnolia flowers, then yeah, I would say this would be worth. I say go a little bit lower, like three hundred, man, because five hundred some is just way too much for a two point five. So would I buy this for my girl, even though she likes it? Fuck to the no, not for five hundred. For three hundred, I possibly go for that because I know how rare it is to smell magnolia flowers, especially when they don't blossom every year. And magnolia flowers, man, is fucking. Awesome. It's one of the most beautiful scent that you can smell in Louisiana down south. The magnolia tree has beautiful white flowers that blossom and, and it's and if you're just like not paying attention, you won't ever smell magnolia flowers. See, I lived in Louisiana almost twenty some years, so I was able to sniff magnolia flowers every now and then at their peak when they smell really good and powdery. This fragrance is a little too much. I'd say if they went down for like even 250 for a 2.5 ml, this is a go-getter. This would be worth having in your collection. This would be, um, you know, one of those things that you would want in your collection because of the, um, because of the um, uniqueness of this fragrance. That's just me. If there is magnolia in here, I'm getting magnolia. All right, that's what I'm getting. Um, it may it may be some other kind of white flower that's rare, like magnolia, or that can be rare like magnolia. And th if that is the case, then I'd say go for it for five hundred bucks. But if that's not the case, man, don't go for this for five hundred bucks for a two point five, unless you just have that money to do it. But you have to also realize that this fragrance doesn't last past the five hour mark on me. If I'm gonna pay. 100 bucks for fragrance it better go past at least the eight hour mark because if it doesn't go past the eight hour mark i'm not buying that shit this fragrance does not go past the eight hour mark for me it is a beautiful scent though this is a wedding for women so women if you're going to a wedding i'd pull this one out i pull this one out. i have a decant on the side to re-up after the five hour mark So this is a Creed event, uh, Creed fragrances. Um, I give it. Wow, wow, that's actually, this is actually really coming down into something. Be kind of beautiful. Um, I don't like the house. All right. Um, I've given the best freaking review that I could give. Fair review. On these fra on these two fragrances, all right. My girl likes them. I like them both. Um, would I ever purchase these two? This one maybe for one fifty. This one for two fifty. Not five hundred. Not two hundred and something. I wouldn't go for it. Um, actually, this one. I might go for this one for 150. I might. <laughs> I really just might. But um man, if they had if they made this with some pineapple in it, I'd definitely go for 200 for this. But they don't have pineapple. They have some other kind of floral deal going on with it. Um okay, imagine this. This is this is what I'm thinking now about this. This is um an Argowood forest, all right, full of oud. It burns down. The sap starts running from the trees. It burns down. Then the fire dies off. Some of the Argowood is still whole. 
though it is burnt, then a rain comes, a, sp a, a spring rain comes and washes over everything. Then, in a couple of weeks, flowers start to sprout from these burnt trees. This is exactly what this fragrance is. Flower, scented flowers, like white scented flowers, start to sprout from these trees somehow. Or from the ground even next to the trees. This is exactly this fragrance. It's masculine because it has that, that aftermath of a burnt forest with the sap running through the trees and burnt sap. And the oodiness from the from the rotten oud from these trees, right? The argo wood. And then you have, after a day or two or a week or so, after the rain washes everything, washes all the soot and, and the ashes clear, flowers start to grow. This is exactly what this smells like. This is a good scent. This is a really good scent. Only problem I have is the price point and the longevity of this thing. It doesn't last long. Anyway, it's your boy Original Dogman for Creed Royal Oud and White Flowers by Creed for Women. Too much, too much. I wouldn't pay for it. Longevity sucks. Longevity sucks. Beautiful scent. Carry a decant or sample because you're going to have to re-up. That's just me. Your skin might be different. Peace the hell out.